five, four, three, two, and lift off. Imagine building a spaceship, not just any spaceship, but one meant to carry astronauts to the International Space Station, like a high-tech taxi for the stars. That's what Boeing promised with the Starliner, a spacecraft years in the making and costing billions. But when it finally launched, something went wrong. It vanished. Like a magician's trick gone into thin air. This isn't just a lost spaceship. It's a setback for a nation's dream of reaching for the stars. So buckle up, because we're about to blast off on a journey to uncover the truth. What happened to the missing Starliner? And what does it mean for the future of space exploration? This is Science with Lou. NASA's mission to explore space has been a significant part of America's history, dating back to the Cold War era. Among the many spacecraft that have left their mark on history, none are as iconic as the Space Shuttle. The shuttle may have been costly and risky, but it remained the most recognizable spacecraft of its time. After three decades of service, NASA retired the Space Shuttle program in 2001, leaving American astronauts to depend solely on the Russian Soyuz rocket for voyages to and from the International Space Station, ISS. To end this reliance on Soyuz rockets, NASA invested $6.9 billion in the commercial crew program, with $4.3 billion going to Boeing's Starliner and $2.6 billion to SpaceX's Crew Dragon. These spacecraft were designed to transport astronauts and cargo to the ISS, but despite the significant investment, there have been setbacks. The Boeing Starliner, which cost NASA $4.3 billion, disappeared without a trace, revealing a broken promise from Boeing. The company pledged to build a reliable spacecraft, but has yet to deliver on its promise. The question remains, what happened to the missing Starliner? NASA's reliance on Russian spacecraft is not without geopolitical implications. Despite being collaborative partners within the International Space Station project, the United States and Russia are political rivals. NASA seeks to reduce its dependence on Russia for all launch necessities, including transporting astronauts to the ISS. The disappearance of the Boeing Starliner has highlighted the importance of building reliable and trustworthy spacecraft. As NASA continues its mission to explore space, it faces significant challenges and setbacks. In 2011, NASA launched the Commercial Crew Program, a groundbreaking initiative that sought to engage American private companies in transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station. This program encouraged competition among companies to design the most innovative, cost-effective, and secure means of crew transportation, with NASA offering contracts to the selected entities. After a rigorous bidding process, NASA awarded Boeing a $4.3 billion contract in 2014 to build the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft for six missions to the ISS. Additionally, SpaceX was granted a $2.6 billion contract to develop the Crew Dragon spacecraft for the same number of missions. With these two companies on board, NASA believed that healthy competition would lead to superior efficient outcomes and prevent a monopoly. However, NASA's predictions did not come to fruition. SpaceX soared ahead, launching its first crewed mission in 2020, while Boeing experienced setbacks and postponed the Starliner's maiden voyage until, at the earliest, April 2024. Despite the challenges, NASA invested approximately $6.9 billion in the commercial crew program, ensuring that space travel continues to evolve with the latest technological advances. So what really happened? 
Boeing's CST-100 Starliner capsule has faced a series of challenges over the past several years. Initially scheduled for a test flight in 2016, developmental hurdles caused an eight-month delay. The spacecraft's weight exceeded expectations, prompting the team to trim its mass and rectify aerodynamic drag issues, and the test launch was pushed to 2017. However, 2017 came and went with no launch, leading to a rescheduled date of July 2018. Another obstacle arose during testing, a worrisome hypergolic propellant leak that posed significant risks within a crude capsule. The craft was then sent back to the drawing board for further refinement, with a new launch target of November 2019. In December 2019, Boeing attempted the first test flight destined for the International Space Station. However, a series of issues emerged, including a discrepancy in the Starliner's internal timer and problems with thrusters responsible for angling the craft to avoid heat shield damage during re-entry. These errors amplified existing doubts regarding Boeing's capacity to fulfill the venture. A comprehensive review between Boeing and NASA unearthed 80 areas requiring updates and rectifications. Despite two and a half years of addressing these issues and other potential pitfalls, problems continued to plague the project. As the redesigned and updated Starliner prepared for its second orbital flight test in April 2021, final testing revealed a significant problem with 13 engine valves in the craft. Exposure to the salty air of Cape Canaveral, Florida, led to corrosion, rendering the launch unsafe due to tight tolerances. Despite attempts at on-site resolution, Boeing ultimately deemed cancelling the test flight the safer course of action. While the inaugural flight of the CST-100 Starliner capsule did not categorically fail, Boeing's ongoing struggles raise concerns about its ability to meet the demands of space exploration. In May 2022, Boeing launched another orbital test flight, successfully docking at the International Space Station. However, a few glitches persisted as some systems malfunctioned. The company had redesigned the parachute system following a critical failure in the previous test, with enhanced testing scheduled for November 2023. Recently, Boeing discovered potentially flammable wiring and addressed the issue by removing the problematic materials. During the flight, two orbital maneuvering and altitude control thrusters failed, along with a couple of reaction control system thrusters at docking due to low chamber pressure. While the flight was deemed a success, the subsequent milestone of a final test with crew on board faced numerous delays with the latest update pegged for April 2024. This delay can be attributed to persistent parachute issues and recent wiring problems that Boeing is diligently resolving. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has been setting a stellar pace, almost unrivaled. Despite a few Falcon 9 rocket mishaps during testing, their August 2023 flight marked the sixth successful crew transportation to the ISS. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has not only excelled in technical performance, but also in cost effectiveness. NASA documents indicate a seat on Crew Dragon costs approximately $55 million, significantly undercutting Boeing's Starliner, which currently stands at $90 million per seat. This financial advantage has contributed to SpaceX's dominance in the commercial spaceflight sector, securing a 14-mission contract with NASA with a total contract value approaching $5 billion and a 60% share of the global commercial launch market. The shift towards contracting with SpaceX and Boeing has propelled the United States back into global space leadership. From a 0% share, in the commercial launch market in 2011, SpaceX alone has secured a whopping 60% share today. Consequently, 
NASA's significant contributions to SpaceX revenue showcase the agency's role in this resurgence. This financial impetus might be why Boeing persists with the Starliner project, despite spaceflight contributing only a fraction to its overall revenue. Recognizing the importance of meticulous engineering and quality control, NASA maintains a dedicated team of experts embedded within Boeing, closely monitoring every step of the Starliner's development. This oversight ensures the safety of future crewed missions. Boeing Starliner VP and Program Manager Mark Nappi has emphasized that the company is dedicated to fulfilling all contractual obligations, which includes six crewed missions and one crewed test flight to the International Space Station, ISS. However, the company's future after these NASA contracts are fulfilled is uncertain. John Shannon, Boeing's VP of Exploration Systems, has suggested that continued development may become prohibitively expensive without the contract. Boeing has yet to determine the long-term viability of the project, raising questions about its future in this field. Boeing faces a significant challenge in catching up to SpaceX, which currently holds the lead in commercial spaceflight. While Boeing is attempting to streamline operations, other alternatives in the commercial spaceflight industry are emerging. Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, which underwent two decades of development, is now ready for commercial application, despite missing the initial NASA contract in 2023 for cargo delivery missions. Blue Origin's New Glenn spacecraft is also a strong contender, pointing to an imminent increase in commercial spaceflight demand. Although SpaceX holds a clear advantage at present, emerging competitors such as Sierra Space's Dream Chaser and Blue Origin's New Glenn spacecraft are vying for a slice of the rapidly expanding commercial spaceflight market. These newcomers bring excitement and innovation to the industry. While challenges remain, the resurgence of American commercial spaceflight is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. As new players emerge and innovation accelerates, the sky is no longer the limit, it's just the beginning. So buckle up, the future of space exploration is looking brighter than ever. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more space updates. See you on the next one.